day my name is john bello fernandez lecturer at department of bsc in interior design and decoration milagres college mangalore so today i am here to discuss about the topic that is lintels so when we uh, think about uh, constructing a residential uh, building or else a commercial building or uh, is it a educational buildings uh, uh, apartments so whatever it is uh, when we construct any kind of buildings we provide them with the openings so that is uh, uh, called as the doors windows the ventilators uh, so etc so these are the openings which we provide to the buildings okay so sometimes uh, so all these openings uh, we provide it to the wall so sometimes even we provide these uh, openings even on the uh, roofing uh, slabs also which is uh, called as the skylighters uh, uh, maybe uh, to give the skylight the natural light uh, uh, coming inside the uh, buildings so uh, for such cases okay so when we talk about now lintels so what is uh, this lintel so why it is uh, provided so lintels are provided so when we uh, now uh, the I, i was talking about the openings now so openings are give, uh, given given uh, so so that we can uh, get inside the buildings and uh, get out of the buildings uh, uh, if you talk about the windows uh, uh, to get the natural uh, light inside the buildings and uh, for the good uh, air circulation areas also it will be uh, very useful uh, the bad smell uh, uh, whatever inside the uh, house or uh, the full smell which is uh, uh, coming from the kitchen so everything will be escaped uh, even if you give uh, uh, only when uh, if you give the number of uh, openings so when you give the openings so now uh, take a example of uh, doors and uh, windows ventilator whatever it is so doors so if you talk about the uh, main door now that will be given uh, the opening of uh, 3 ft 6 inches by the height that is uh, 7 ft so uh, if you talk about the windows the sill height will be uh, at uh, 3 ft height and the lintel level that is also uh, same as the uh, door uh, lintel level that is 7 ft height so above this 7 ft opening so now uh, for doors and windows for both these openings are provided so above this uh, 7 ft so uh, thickness of uh, maybe like 6 uh, inches thickness or 4 inches thickness or 9 inches thickness so there are various uh, thickness so depending upon the opening the size of the opening the span of the opening the lintels are provided so what is this lintel so lintels are nothing but the horizontal structural members which is provided above the opening areas so to uh, carry the superimposed loads which is coming from the top of the opening so if you when you talk about the opening it is understood that uh, from the bottom surface till the 7 ft height that is a open area so for the doors uh, doors and even for the window from the 3 ft height till the 7 ft height that is a open area which we give for the windows so above that so above that window so if you talk about the room height the room height will go up to 10 ft so even uh, for minimum uh, if you go also it will come up to 3 9 ft 6 inches so uh, as uh, you customize uh, you can go up to 11 ft also Uh, and uh, for the commercial building the height of the building that will raise up to uh, 14 feet 15 feet 13 feet uh, extra etc so it will go on uh, increasing the height so once you provide the opening of like 7 feet so above that also the wall will be constructed so how do we construct that wall so can we directly uh, if it is a stone uh, it if the wall is constructed with the stone or bricks so can we directly construct this uh, uh, wall above this opening no so for that case uh, we are providing that uh, space uh, opening the uh, space above this uh, 7 ft height with some of some would uh, some members some horizontal members okay so it can be of any material maybe it is a steel or it can be of a wood material uh, it can be concrete material it can be a stone so those are all the different uh, materials which could be used so the horizontal structural members which is placed above the opening so that is called as uh, lintels okay so the thickness so if you talk about the thickness now uh, the thickness of the uh, uh, lintel or the height of the lintel above the uh, 
seven uh, seven feet opening so above your door or the above your uh, window openings at a height of seven feet so above that there is a uh, thickness uh, of uh, lintel which is uh, given the horizontal piece which is uh, provided okay so the thickness will depend on the size the size of the opening so if you have a very small opening then uh, uh, the thickness of the lintel the height of the lintel can be uh, can also be reduced for uh, uh, like 3 inches to 4 inches uh, you can reduce it uh, or else 2 inches uh, also it is uh, uh, possible but when you give a very uh, a long uh, opening the span the span uh, so in that case the thickness of the height of the lintel also uh, should be increased so uh, for the minimum of uh, 10 cm uh, uh, you can uh, take the height of the lintel and then it depends upon the Math, uh, the opening of the the door opening or the window opening if you have a very uh, huge opening so uh, and uh, then you give a 10 centimeter height of the lintel the uh, whatever the load is coming from the uh, top surface of the uh, opening so it will not carry uh, if it is a very thinner uh, uh, lintel which is provided then it will not carry such load it can crack at any time it can uh, again uh, you will have to change it uh, uh, so there will be a uh, lots of uh, uh, process in that okay so the size uh, the thickness the height will depend upon the size of the opening so that is about the lintel so it is nothing but the horizontal uh, slab or the horizontal uh, uh, structural member you can call it uh, anyhow as you uh, want it so it is a horizontal piece which is provided above the opening areas so that is called as a lintel okay so next we come up to the uh, classification of uh, lintels so when we talk about the classification of lintels so classifications are uh, done based on the materials so uh, if uh, the use of the material is uh, wood so wood wood pieces are used in the uh, uh, place of uh, the lintel so in that case uh, the uh, lintel that is called as a timber lintels uh, if the stone is used uh, above the opening then uh, it is called as a stone lintels if bricks are used uh, then it is called a brick lintel so whatever the depending upon the material which is used uh, it has been uh, classified okay so there are uh, plenty uh, so many uh, classification which is uh, i have listed down so the very important uh, one that is timber lintels the stone lintels the brick lintels the reinforced brick lintels and the reinforced cement concrete lintels which is uh, uh, right now at uh, use so very uh, every time uh, we move across uh, uh, the our city borders uh, we find out uh, so many uh, uh, constructions which is going on and all these constructions are uh, uh, where the openings are given it has been uh, given with the rcc lintels nowadays okay and then we have the last one that is steel lintels so these are all the six types of uh, uh, different types of lintels so depending upon the materials it is classified okay so the first one we uh, move on to the timber lintel so timber lintel so where it is used so when you talk about the timber so timber which means the wood so well seasoned timber will uh, will be used in this type of uh, lintels okay so where uh, it is used it is commonly used in the hilly areas where the timber is easily available where uh, the timber where the wood is uh, have, uh, easily available where the trees are more available so in that uh, uh, place you can use this uh, uh, timber uh, lintel so it is also one of the uh, lintel which is uh, used from the uh, earlier days so they can be uh, costlier but uh, it uh, it is costlier and uh, but it is weak it cannot uh, uh, catch uh, too much of a uh, load it cannot bear that uh, it is not that uh, strong so that it can bear the loads uh, the superimposed uh, load which is coming uh, uh, from above 7 feet 
okay and uh, when uh, when you talk about uh, wood it cannot be uh, resistant to fire also if in such case uh, if any uh, such uh, things happen like uh, like fire it will be uh, it is very delicate uh, uh, material but it is costlier because the wood is very uh, expensive it needs to be uh, uh, season well seasoned uh, and uh, there are lots of uh, procedure uh, the moisture should be uh, removed uh, uh, from the wood and then it can be uh, used uh, wherever it is needed so liable to decay if not properly ventilated okay so these are uh, if you uh, the left uh, to my left side we can i can uh, uh, so uh, you have a picture there the real image of a timber lintel so if you look at that also the opening the door opening it is a very huge opening uh, after all so above that opening the wooden uh, piece if uh, you can see that wooden piece over that wooden piece again the uh, brick construction has been done okay so that is one type of uh, the timber lintel so it is uh, uh, it can be used with the hilly areas where you get uh, uh, the wood uh, very easily in that particular place you can use it it is expensive and uh, it is uh, vulnerable to fire and it is even weak compared to other kind of lintels so that is about the timber lintels next we move on to the stone lintels so what is this stone lintel if you look at the picture also you can understand it is uh, directly the stone which is uh, the wall is also constructed with the help of the stones and even the lintel is also constructed by the help of the stone itself the stone slabs of greater thickness it been used so where the uh, stones are easily available as the same way where the uh, woods are uh, easily available uh, maybe in the hilly uh, kind of areas the timber lintels are used the same way where the stone is easily available then the stone lintels are easily used the stone when you talk about stone lintel the thickness of the uh, stone lintels also will be uh, more than uh, it, it will depends on the span of the uh, lint, uh, span of the opening okay so uh, maybe uh, used in the form of one piece or more than one piece so it can be uh, used in the form of one piece or else can be used uh, by attaching uh, two or three pieces so if you look at the picture you can understand that if you have a very uh, very uh, very uh, bigger stone slab of greater thickness and it can be provided uh, uh, along uh, it can be uh, provided as a one piece as well as the uh, it can be joined up with the two three pieces so depth it is uh, kept at a 10 centimeter per meter of span so for one meter of span the 10 centimeter uh, depth of the stone lintel is being used okay so that is about the stone lintel so next we move on to the brick lintels so here uh, when you talk about the brick lintel so what is this brick brick is nothing but a clay so it is a mud okay so but uh, there are uh, various uh, cl uh, classes of uh, bricks which can be used uh, we have first class bricks we have second class we have third class base bricks but here the first class bricks which is well burnt and are laid on an end or edge so it is constructed with the hard well burnt first class bricks so the same way the depth will vary from 10 centimeter to 20 centimeter depending upon the span of the opening okay so suitable for the small openings but here one more thing uh, you have to uh, take down understand that uh, since it is uh, uh, it is constructed with the help of the brick so the such bricks are used where you get the uh, where uh, they are having the frog on the top so frog is nothing but uh, uh, so it is uh, nothing but the top surface of the brick which is uh, in one one side of the brick which is hollow and one more side of the brick it is having a uh, part 
that is coming out of the brick so that it will get locked up with each other so that is called as bricks having frog so which is more suitable so that will be tightly packed so such bricks can be used for this purpose of building the lintel okay so that is about the brick lintel so for uh, it uh, even this also can be used for a very large uh, opening but uh, it is not preferable uh, if you go for more than uh, uh, 10 uh, stories uh, buildings when you go for that uh, we don't uh, you prefer uh, uh, such kind of uh, brick lintels so we go on for the uh, there are different uh, types we'll uh, move on uh, further so constructed over a temporary wooden centering okay so same way as uh, how you construct uh, the slab so before we construct the slab the centering work is done and then the bar bending work will be uh, taken place and above the upon the bar bending after that uh, the concrete will be poured the same way here uh, the brick lintels are also constructed on the centering which is uh, done by the wooden so the carpenters uh, uh, the centering uh, masons will uh, uh, come to the side and then they uh, provide the centering and then above that the brick lintels are uh, locked and packed with each other so that is about the brick lintel so next we have the reinforced brick lintel so it is uh, nothing but uh, same as the brick lintel so only one difference that is the bars the steel bars the iron bars which has been uh, used here so the same way uh, the bricks uh, how the brick uh, lintels are done the same way this is also uh, done it is also uh, constructed uh, by using the centering and then the bricks are laid so upon the uh, up upon one layer of the brick the iron bars have been laid and then they uh, then the concrete has been uh, uh, placed upon that and then again the layers of the uh, bricks have been uh, again they constructed so depth of the lintel that is kept at 10 cm or multiple of one brick thickness okay so if you look at the picture also you can uh, make out how the uh, reinforced brick lintel so why this reinforcement is done so as uh, the previous uh, when i explained about the brick lintel i said that uh, it cannot be uh, increased up to 10 uh, story building so here when the reinforcement of uh, the steel bars or iron bars is done so in that case uh, the strength of the lintel will also increase so that can carry up uh, more load so the wall will carry more load on it so in that so for that case the reinforcement of the bars it has been done okay so gap or joint is then filled with the rich cement mortar or the cement concrete so cement mortar also can be used cement concrete also can be used okay so vertical strips are provided at every third vertical joint so at every third vertical joints uh, the vertical strips are provided okay so that is about the reinforced brick lintel so next we have the reinforced cement concrete lintel so this is one of my favorite one because uh, at present and more uh, regularly we use uh, these kind of lintel so this uh, when you talk about uh, reinforced cement concrete lintel so this can be uh, constructed uh, directly on site or it can be uh, constructed uh, uh, somewhere else and then it can be got into the site and then it can be used uh, when the construction construction is done so it is very common in use uh, the durability also wise also it is uh, durable and uh, the strength also it is having a very good strength uh, so that it can carry uh, so any kind of load on it uh, because uh, the reinforcement is also done and the binding substance that is also the cement and uh, even uh, the tightly packed uh, substance that is uh, uh, the uh, Uh, gravel all this can, uh, will be mixed uh, in a proper uh, way and then it will be used okay so in that case uh, this is a very uh, very strongest uh, lintel which we can uh, tell so it is having a very bigger span and heavy loading so it is it can uh, carry up to heavy load so uh, if you uh, look at uh, the very uh, Uh, bigger uh, buildings so in all the plenty of buildings we uh, use this cement concrete lintels 
so the ratio of the cement concrete uh, uh, that is taken as 1 is to 2 is to 4 cement concrete ratio which is used with the steel reinforcement bars so bars is also provided the so same way the uh, centering is done and then upon the centering the uh, bars the iron bars will be provided and then the concrete will be placed okay so that is so it can be a precast or cast in site also so as i have said you all it can be constructed somewhere else and got it here and uh, it can be used or else it can be uh, even constructed on site itself okay so uh, here also in your uh, cement concrete uh, uh, lintel also we have like throughout lintel or else we call it as a cut lintel if you are providing just above the above the window and that is called as a cut lintel uh, only for the openings uh, the door openings or the window openings we provide it so, uh, and uh, there is a throughout lintel so throughout lintel is nothing but uh, uh, the lintel which is provided throughout the building so maybe at seven feet height uh, uh, for all the openings uh, the lintel will be provided so that is called as the throughout lintel so this is about the reinforced cement concrete lintel so next one we have that is the steel lintel so steel lintel so here so when you have to take a very uh, very bigger load maybe uh, it is suitable when the superimposed loads are heavy so there are heavier loads uh, on the openings in that case uh, you can use this steel lintels okay so the it consists of a channel sections or the rolled steel joist so if you uh, look at the steel uh, the picture also you can find that it is a i shaped uh, uh, bars uh, which is used and then it even the bricks are also used so that uh, the steels are not visible to it so the outer uh, way also it is uh, it can be a decorative part also and then uh, it is very stronger also so it can use one single section or in combination depending upon the requirement okay so when you singly the steel joint is either embedded in concrete or cladded with the stone facing to keep the width same or the width of the wall okay so to keep, uh, keep the wall thickness the wall thickness uh, at the same uh, thickness the it can be provided with the cement uh, concrete or else it can be attached with the bricks also okay so that is about the steel lintel so if you look at the uh, sections also where uh, the a section the concrete embedment is done and in the uh, section uh, b uh, elevation of section b the stone facing so if you look at that uh, uh, picture also uh, the section uh, the elevation picture you, you can uh, check that the stone facing is done and one more thing that is multiple unit of i sections are used and then the concrete embed, uh, embedment is done to it so it can be the steel lintel can be provided in three ways so either it can be uh, used alone as the same uh, uh, i i sections can be used alone the single it can be used and then it can be uh, provided with the concrete and uh, it can be uh, even the stone facing uh, steel lintel also can be uh, used and the multiple units of uh, the uh, sections can be used and then it can be uh, filled up with the cement concrete okay so these are some of uh, the basic uh, uh, the very important uh, uh, kinds of uh, lintels which we uh, provide so this is the classification of the lintels which is done so that's all for today's session thank you